the Queen will preach a message of conciliation to a nation divided by issues such as Brexit in her Christmas broadcast tomorrow. Speaking about the birth of Jesus and the Christmas story, she will say, I believe his message of peace on earth and goodwill to all is never out of date. It can be heeded by everyone, it's needed as much as ever. She will also reflect on the importance of treating others with consideration, saying, even with the most deeply held differences, treating the other person with respect and as a fellow human being is always a good first step towards greater understanding. It understood that the Queen means to highlight the current manner of political discourse surrounding contentious issues such as Brexit, which has become bitter in the extreme. Although it was filmed a fortnight ago, its release is particularly timely given last week's incident in which Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn was allegedly seen to mutter stupid woman about Theresa May during Prime Minister's questions in Parliament, leading to widespread public outrage. He has denied the remark claiming he actually said stupid people. The Queen, although politically neutral and scrupulous in her efforts not to take sides, is clear, however, in her message to politicians of all parties and on both sides of the Brexit debate, listening to others and treating those who oppose you with respect leads to better understanding when we disagree. Perhaps it could also be taken on board by her nearest and dearest, given recent reports of a rift between the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Indeed, the Queen will refer in her speech to the places from which she draws strength and encouragement, family being one of them. She will say, through the many changes I have seen over the years, faith, family and friendship have been not only a constant for me but a source of personal comfort and reassurance. The Christmas message was filmed in the White Drawing Room at Buckingham Palace on December 12 and has been produced this year by Sky News. The Queen wears a silk and lace cocktail dress by her senior dresser, Angela Kelly, and a gold, ruby and diamond brooch which was a present from the Duke of Edinburgh in 1966. A 1949 picture showing the couple with a six-month-old Prince Charles stands prominently on her desk. A reminder that the Prince of Wales celebrated his 70th birthday last month. Catching the eye amid the splendor of the drawing room is a gilded piano that was made for Queen Victoria in 1856. Yesterday the Queen was seen braving heavy rain to attend church at Sandringham, her Norfolk estate, where the royal family is gathering for the festive season. A crowd of around 200 huddling under umbrellas were gathered to watch her arrive by car for the carol service at St. Mary Magdalene Church, but were disappointed when 97-year-old Prince Philip failed to attend. Despite his advancing years, Philip walked around 400 yards from Sandringham House to the church nearly every Sunday during the royal family's Christmas break last December and January, but following his hip replacement earlier this year is clearly taking things easy. A royal source denied that there were any fears for Philip's health, pointing out that he had been photographed at a Christmas party at Buckingham Palace last Wednesday. The Queen was driven to the service in her maroon Bentley with Prince Edward, his wife the Countess of Wessex and their 15-year-old daughter, Lady Louise Windsor. The Queen, who wore a red and grey tweed coat with a matching festive feathered hat, looked well as she walked briskly into the church while sheltering under an umbrella. A Buckingham Palace spokesman refused to say why the Duke of Edinburgh had not attended, describing the royal family's stay at Sandringham as private. Veteran royal watcher Alan Moden, who has been in the crowd at Sandringham Church services every Christmas for 41 years, said, I thought the Queen looked very well. It was lovely to see her. It was a bit of a shame not to see Philip, but it is understandable that he might miss a service at his age particularly when the weather is like this. But in previous years we have seen much worse weather here and he has turned out. Prince Edward joked about the weather with the crowd as he got out of the front passenger seat, saying to them, You must be very keen or foolish to stand here. Café Honorian Roper, 52, of Sheringham, Norfolk, replied instantly, We are here to see you. The prince promptly retorted, Really? I hope the sun comes out for you. Mr. Roper said, he was very friendly and it was nice for him to say a few words. Rachel Stewart, 45, of Dursingham, Norfolk, who was also in the crowd, said, the Queen looked in a bit of a hurry because of the rain today. Normally she gets out of the car much slower. 
The service was conducted by Sandringham Rector, the relevant canon Jonathan Riviere, who said prayers for the aged and little children. The congregation joined in the singing of carols once in Royal David City, away in a manger, silent night, while shepherds watch their flocks by night, and hark the herald angels sing. Other members of the royal family are expected to arrive at Sandringham today and to join the Queen at a church service tomorrow.